Shalom, shalom. All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechak, Kodash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Peace, grace, and mercy be upon the house of David, the Bayath Dawada, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven which is the kingdom of Israel, and double honors of the apostles of great millstone who I learned this truth from, and honor salutation and blessings to the men that are preaching the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in all sincerity, in all diligence, in all truth. All right, so uh, this lesson is uh, entitled A Spiritual Realignment. All right, and uh, you know, I don't really have uh, much uh, scriptures, but you know, just uh, something I was just meditating on through the spirit you know, uh, in this truth, you know, in this walk, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a fight. You know, as Paul said, okay, you gotta, um, you know, uh, fight the good fight of faith. All right. So, you know, you're gonna have times where you, you are spiritually, uh, you know, up. You know, when you have your spiritual lows. All right. You have times where you are bounding. All right. And the times where you are based. Okay. But um, you know what you gotta always as, what you always gotta remember to do is uh, examine yourself, okay? Just like when you have a car, you know, your car, every certain mileage or every certain, you know, uh, time frame, you gotta go take it, you know, to the shop, you know, to get it examined, okay? And sometimes you might need an oil change, sometimes you might need, you know, your brakes changed, you know, but then every so often, you might need your uh, your wheel alignment, okay? And your wheel, basically your wheel alignment is the, uh, is so that your, your your car stays straight when it's you know when it's driving, all right. It doesn't veer off to the left. It doesn't veer off to the right. You know it stays on that straight path. Okay. Well, you know when it's truth, you got to make sure that your that your spirit is aligned in that straight and narrow path, man. Because as the scripture says, that um, that broad is the gate. Just let me pull that up real quick. All right. That the uh, that we have to enter into the straight gate. So in order to enter into the straight gate, you got to be able to walk that straight path, man. And that path is a narrow, it's a narrow path. It's not, it's not an easy walk, all right? And there's a lot of things in this world that tries to, uh, you know, knock us off that path, path all right? A lot of uh, vanities, okay? A lot of uh, demons, all right? A lot of spirits are trying to knock off our, our uh, spirit off of that uh, straight and narrow path, man. So... You got to, you know, take your, your, uh, you know, um, you know, metaphorically speaking, you got to take your spirit to the, to the shop, man. You got to get it checked out. All right. This is why Paul said, you know, examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith. All right. Because that examination is going to, um, you know, show forth when you examine yourself, you know, in, in truth. All right. And when you examine yourself in sincerity. Okay. You're going to see the areas where that you're lacking in, all right? You're going to see the areas that might, you know, uh, can use a tune-up, okay? And we de and that's important in order to endure in this truth, man. Being able to be, uh, you know, being able to judge yourself, being able to examine yourself, okay? And then being able to correct correct those areas, you know, through the Spirit Acts. Of course, praying to the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, that, you know, He gives you uh, he renews a, a right spirit within you, Psalms 51st chapter. All right, that's asking asking for you know spiritual realignment. All right, when when David went off and he committed uh, adultery with Bathsheba, you know he veered. You know he he didn't stay on the straight path. He veered to the left. All right, he veered to the right, and then that caused him to uh, fall off. It caused him to go uh, go off. All right, <clears throat> but when he asked the Lord to uh, to uh, renew a right spirit within him. He was asking for what? Spiritual realignment. All right? He was asking for spiritual realignment. He acknowledged his transgressions. He acknowledged his, that he needed uh, uh, he needed to get back up on the right path. All right? And he asked the Lord to, to uh, renew a right spirit within him. All right? And that's what a true, you know, a, a true, sincere believer of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh will do, man. Okay? And then also, you, you got, the Lord will use, you know, brothers or somebody else to rebuke you so that you can get a spiritually realigned man and that's why the scripture tells you that uh you know it's a, 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 a it's a blessing basically to be able to take rebuke 
You know, how 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 calmly is it for a man when he's rebuked to uh, take it? You know, uh, roughly paraphrasing, right? But this is uh, Matthew 7, verse uh, 13. It says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way which uh, that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go by go by there uh, which go thereat. Okay, so we are supposed to enter into that into the straight gate, which goes into being able to uh, uh, continue a, a, a down that path, man. Even though it's a you know a path of tribulation, all right. Which in order to do that, you gotta make sure that your spirit is aligned, all right, with with the perfect will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? You gotta make sure that you are spiritually aligned, man. That you in that you are going down, going down the right path. All right? Not being uh swayed, not being tossed, uh, you know, uh, to and fro, all right? Not uh uh, uh giving heed to uh, doctrines of devils, okay, not giving heed into the um into the pleasures of the of the flesh. All these things goes into you know examining yourself and Walking that straight gate, man, daily. Taking up your cross daily, man. All right? So this is uh, sec, um, Revelation chapter 2, verse 2. It says, I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience, and how thou cannot bear them that are evil, and thou and how and thou hast tried them which say there are prophets, I mean, Salah, which say there are apostles, and are not, and hast found them liars, and has borne, and has patience, and for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. Okay? So it says, uh, going to verse 4, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. You see that? So you can be laboring. You can be, you know, uh, uh, you know, toiling. Okay? You might end up, you might even go out on the highways and byways week in and week out. All right? But the Lord had said, right, he have somewhat against thee because you have left the first love, man. Meaning, you're not on, you're not, this is not your top, top priority. You just going through the motions, okay? You just, uh, uh, you believe, and because you've been doing it for so long, you know, you just feel like, all right, well, I gotta just keep continue to do it, but you don't have that same desire, that same passion for, for this thing, man, okay? You don't have the same passion, desire for salvation. You might say, you know, you might end up without uh, consciously being aware, but subconsciously, you might be that individual, that servant, that say that his Lord delayeth his coming. Okay, not 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 that not that unnecessarily that you don't truly believe, but you basically you get slothful. Okay, you get uh, uh you get slacked, or lacked. All right. Well, what you got to do is what have that spiritual realignment, man. Get back in line. Hey, and that's where you know. Uh, chastisement How the Lord chastises you Alright He corrects you Okay That's what chastisement is It's correction And it gets you back straight man Alright You know Like if you, if you see Somebody that's a, a, a You know a, a, a child That's walking with like a, a Walking hunched over or, or you have bad posture You know A parent would like You know Hit him in the back And tell him to straighten up well, that's what you know. That's what the chastisement of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, is to is to his uh, the ones who we love. Okay, Revelation three verse nineteen. All right, uh, he says what? As many as I love, I rebuke and chastise. All right, be zealous therefore and repent. So that chastisement is is knocking you back on that straight path, man. It's getting you getting you back in line. So that's why you're not supposed to uh, you're not supposed to uh, uh, you know buck up against the chastisement. You're not supposed to. Um, Hate the chastisement of the Lord, man, but instead embrace it because it's, it's it's making you a better person through the Spirit, you know. So let me um see if I can get this other scripture. So uh, I believe it's Second Corinthians. <clears throat> so like mm, it's first First Corinthians. Or? Yeah, it's 1 Corinthians. Bear with me one second. Uh, 1 Corinthians. Uh, 1 Corinthians 11, verse... Um, start at 
27. It says, uh, Wherefore, whosoever shall eat of this bread and drink of this cup unworthily shall be guilty of the Lord and the blood of the Lord. All right, so like, shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, okay? So you can't drink and eat of this cup unworthily, meaning you can't be, you know, uh, 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 in this truth and not being and not being on that straight and narrow path, man. All right, not walking, not walking according to the uh, to the will. All right, not transforming and conforming your mind to the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, because then you're gonna be found unworthy. So, excuse me, you're gonna be found unworthy. All right, and Yahweh Shai said it. You know, uh, um, take heed unto yourselves. That's another uh, scripture of uh, spiritual spiritual realignment. Taking heed to yourself. All right, that you're not giving it to, uh, a surfeiting and, and drunkenness and the cares of this life. That, that that day catches you unaware and you're not able to stand before Yahweh Shad, all right, during that day. Okay, because you are found unworthy. Because you didn't align yourself, all right, you didn't check yourself. I actually, I'm going to continue to say it right here. 1 Corinthians 11, verse um, 28, it says, But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. All right, so you got to examine yourself. You got to see, you know, where you're lacking. All right, a just man fall of seven times, but does what? He rises back up because he acknowledges, you know, uh, uh, that he fell. All right, he acknowledges that he fell and he wants to He wants to be better. He wants to get better. All right, he wants to, you know, uh, be perfect as his father in heaven is perfect, man. He wants to uh, be holy. All right, he wants to, he wants redemption. He wants salvation. He truly wants to please the heavenly father, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. So he's going to continue to get back up. He's going to continue to keep his eye single. All right. He's going to continue to, to uh, uh, keep his spirit aligned with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Not saying that he's not going to go off, but when he does go off, he's going to repent. Okay. And get realigned. All right. So it says, but let a man examine himself. And so that let, uh, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. So you got to first examine yourself, all right, uh, whether you be in the faith, examine yourself, whether you know you uh, 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 that you are doing the things to the best of your ability, all right, you, you're doing what you got to do to please your Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of your ability, okay, and then it says what? Uh, uh, like, yeah, for he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the, the Lord's body, okay? So you eating and drinking damnation to yourself, not discerning the Lord's body, all right? Which means what? You causing yourself to be uh, uh, destroyed. You causing yourself more hell, all right? You know? That's like if you don't, if you seeing the signs of your car being, um, you know, you, you, that you got low oil, all right? That your, that your wheel is rocking because it's not aligned, all right? That your brakes is bad, all right? And you just don't examine your car. You don't get your car examined. All right, you just say, well, you know, I'm just going to keep driving it like this. Then what's end up going to happen? Your car is going to end up breaking down. All right. Something's going to end up happening to where it might happen while you in the car and then you can end up getting an accident. Well, that's what the Lord is saying right here. If you eating and drinking unworthily, if you're not checking yourself, if you're not, you know, keeping your oil changed. All right. Keeping your oil fresh, fresh. If you're not keeping your, your will aligned, then you're going to cause damnation to yourself, man. OK, you're going to cause damnation to yourself. And then that's when them, them eight spirits going to come upon you that are stronger than the first demon that was on you, okay? And they going and they going to mess you up. And you going to be waxed worse and worse. And eventually, you know, you're not going to uh, uh, be out here teaching anymore. Eventually, you're just going to be uh, casted out, man. All right. So you know, uh, Lord Willingness was edifying to the elect. You know, just a, a quick little, you know, impromptu, you know, message that I was just meditating on. All right, spiritual realignment, man, and that's something that you should do as often as you can. Okay, spiritual realignment, and, and it's, it takes prayer, it takes fasting, it takes meditation. All right, it takes being honest, sincere, and it takes taking rebuke and correction when need be, man. All right, so a hey, law willing, edifying to the elect, call law Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kadash, and Shalom to the house of David. Shalom.